Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. Pixel 2 recently got released and it has a lot of new cool features. In this video, I will show you how you can get the Pixel 2 features on any Android device without root access. Some of these features have been ported directly from the Pixel 2 device to work on all other Android devices. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video. The first thing that you'll notice on the Pixel 2 device is the launcher. It has been redesigned and now the search bar is at the bottom. A lot of other optimizations have also been made. A lot of animations have changed. Like if you scroll the app bar, when it reaches the end, it kind of has a bounce-like effect that looks really cool. Other animations like the folder opening animation or the app opening animation have also been tweaked a little bit and a few changes have also been made to the widgets. Everything looks a bit minimalistic now, but let's leave all of that. The cool thing is you can get all of the same features and the exact same launcher on your Android device. And installing it is also really simple. I will have the link in the description for downloading the APK file. And after I've downloaded it and copied it to your phone, you'll have to enable the unknown sources in the settings sub menu so that you can install third party applications. And after that, you can install the APK manually like you do any other application and you'll have the exact same pixel launcher on your phone. The Google Now cards also work just fine if you're worried about that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the wallpaper was the exact same wallpaper that we have on the Pixel 2. And it is the same 3D live wallpaper that we have. This wallpaper also has been ported directly from the Pixel 2 device and it looks amazing. There is a variety of live wallpapers that you can choose from and they all look static wallpapers, but they're not actually static because they have some moving parts and they are also 3D at the same time. It is actually a bit hard to explain, but they're quite immersive and they look really good. If you look at this wallpaper, for example, it has the waves moving in and it kind of looks like a drone that is flying over the sea. And when you swipe between the home screens, it looks a bit different, but it is quite immersive. All of the movements are quite subtle, but they add to the experience and make it feel really good. Installing the wallpaper is also really similar to how we did the launcher. You just have to download the APK file and install it like any normal APK. And that's it. You now have all the live wallpapers that you want. You can use it with a Pixel launcher or the Nova launcher or any other launcher if you like. The next one also you might have already noticed and it is the Pixel nav bar. This navigation bar is very similar to the Pixel nav bar and it also has all the animations. And the most awesome part, it also does not require root access. You can also tweak the navigation bar if you like. You can change the color according to your liking or the positioning of the nav bar. The installation of the app is also really simple. You can download this app directly from the Play Store or I will have a link in the description box below. The name of the app is Pixel Navigation Bar and that's what it actually does. The launcher, the wallpaper, the navigation bar are the things that almost all of you guys must have noticed if you watched any Pixel review. The thing that you might not have noticed is if you swipe the navigation bar down, you will see a big red subscribe button. Just kidding, it's down below if you want to press. But the actual thing that you guys might not have noticed is that on the Pixel 2 device, going from zero to 100% volume, it takes 25 volume steps. If you have root access, you can go to the build profile and change this value to this. But if you don't have root access, you can use this simple application that I will have in the description box below. It is called precise volume and it will change the amount of volume steps that you have. You can change it from 15 to 20 to 25 or to even 30. Increasing the volume steps gives you a more more precise volume and sometimes you guys might have felt like if you press the volume button the audio becomes a bit too loud and if you press the down button it is less than what you want it to be so this will let you have the exact value and help you with that this is the only app that is paid in this video but if you're not rooted i don't think there's any other option but if you're rooted you can use the build prop method i will explain it a bit more in the description box below Almost all of us can agree that the Pixel takes nice bokeh shots. For some of you guys who don't know, the bokeh is the background blur that we get with the depth mode. The Pixel 2 camera has the dual pixel technology and it also uses machine learning to get the bokeh. We can't actually replicate that with every phone and most of you guys might not be using a dual camera smartphone. So to replicate that effect, you can use the official Google camera application and it has the depth mode that can create nice background blur. Of course, it won't be as good if you compare it with the Pixel or dual camera devices, but it is still really good. I will have the link to the Google camera application in the description box below. It's not available on the Play Store, but you can download it manually and install it. And after that, you just have to open the application. So I from left to select lens blur, and then all you have to do is tap the shutter button once 
and move your device up a little bit. This will automatically generate the blur and you can also select which object is to be focused after you have taken the image. That's kind of cool and you should definitely give it a try. One more cool thing came with the Google Pixel devices and that is the Google Lens Launcher. How this works is if you take a picture of any object, it will tell you what the object is or will provide you with some information about the object and the application also can be easily installed. But the application was working for some time and now it has stopped working. It could be because it's in the beta stages and Google might update it afterwards. I'll have the link to the app in the description box below. You can see for yourself if it works out or not. But for the time being, you can use another application called CamFind. It has almost the same functionality and it also has some extra features. So if you click a picture of any object with this app, it will tell you what the object is and it will also give you some links of some other Google website related to that object. It's actually a quite useful app. I forgot to tell you guys about the rounded corners. The Pixel has a rounded display and you can get the same with a lot of applications on the Play Store. I use rounded corners for this video and you can try that too. The Pixel 2 also has the fingerprint gestures just like we had it on the Pixel phone. So what that means is you can use the swipe down gesture on the fingerprint scanner to open up the notification panel and see the subscribe button for yourself and then use the swipe up gesture and hide it. But with the fingerprint gesture application, you can do that and a lot of other things also. You can set up various gestures on the fingerprint scanner and it will of course only work if you have a fingerprint scanner. And that was kind of it for this video guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I keep making videos like this and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.